the work it must be done and there's so much to get through and there's no rest for the wicked it's true, it's true, it's true because there's bills that must be paid on time and time it keeps ticking on and money comes and goes and oh before you know it's gone busy 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 we're all busy busy bees this world can be so beautiful but sometimes it's hard to breathe I oh, yeah, busy, 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 we're all busy, busy bees. This world is full of promise, but sometimes it's hard to breathe. A couple of years ago on this channel I posted a poem called The Ups and Downs of Life and I thought it would be fun to do the same poem again. So yeah, this is a poem, The Ups and Downs of Life, and I hope you enjoy it. There's hustle and there's bustle on the city streets at night. People stumble and they tumble causing trouble starting fights. While the good and pure and humble sit in bed and read and write about the many complications and the ups and downs of life. There's good times and there's bad times and there's struggles and there's strife. There's puzzles and there's troubles and there's good and bad advice. But living's still a gamble like the tumbling of a dice, as we try our best to handle all the ups and downs of life. There's lots of untold stories that can baffle and delight, and there's power and there's glory in love's holy sacred light. And there's beauty and there's magic when a man beweds his wife, as they struggle with the troubles and the ups and downs of life. So yeah, there's hustle and there's bustle on the city streets at night. Young kids are showing their muscle, causing trouble, starting fights. But who knows, maybe love will be the cure to put things right, as we stumble and we tumble through the ups and downs of life. Yeah, who knows, maybe love will be the cure to put things right, as we stumble and we tumble through the ups and downs of life. I uh, hope you enjoyed that poem. Subscribe if you did. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll possibly catch you again soon. Bye-bye. I was rolling around downtown. I couldn't escape. I was looking for answers, but I'll have to wait. I was taking my chances in clubs and in bars. Cause one that I love, well, she broke my heart. Oh, this world is so lovely, yet ugly, a sin. And the answers I need do they blow in the wind? And do I still believe things will all turn out right? Well, I'm trapped in the arms of this crazy life. I had one more cigarette, then I talked to some girl who was waiting for me to tell her she's my world. <laughs> oh, she couldn't see all the hurt in my eyes. She was drunk and confused, so I told her some lies. Oh, this world is so lovely, yet ugly as sin. And the answers I need, do they blow in the wind? And do I still believe things will all turn out right? Well, I'm trapped in the arms of this crazy life. Oh, do I still believe things will all turn out right? Well, I'm trapped in the arms of this crazy life. This is a poem about Elvis Presley. Um, I was walking down the street one day 
and I saw a dude who I thought looked a bit like Elvis Presley and I got home and wrote a poem about it so this is a poem I thought I saw the king and it goes as follows I saw a dude who looked like Elvis walking in the town his hair was black as midnight and he wore that southern frown he had the Vegas jumpsuit on his dress was on display Oh, I thought I saw the king just strolling round the town today. He wore a pair of brownish shades that sat atop his head, and a badge stuck on his jumpsuit shouted, Elvis isn't dead. I must admit he looked quite good, and I'm not even gay. Oh, I thought I saw the king just strolling round the town today. People's eyes were turned as they saw him walking round. An old lady wearing glasses shouted, Elvis, where's your crown? But he just smiled and kept on moving swiftly on his way. Oh, I thought I saw the king just strolling round the town today. I know the lovely lassie smiled as he went on his way. Oh, I thought I saw the king just strolling round the town today. Yeah, I thought I saw the king just strolling round the town today. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm waiting on winter to finish. These cold nights are bringing me down. I've been drinking too much and not earning enough. I've been living on pennies, not pounds. Been trying to make sense of my feelings, but it's so cold that I just can't think. So I'm lying down next to a bottle with no love or no money or drink. I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow I'll find what I'm looking for. But the only friend I've got is sore. It's never too far from a door. I still don't know where I'm going. The smile I once wore is a frown. I'm waiting on winter to finish. All oh, these cold nights are bringing me down. This whole room is dancing with memories. Each time that I look around. I can't wait for winter to finish. These cold nights are bringing me down. I'm going to read a poem called Bitter Pill to Swallow. Uh, this is a poem I wrote on the 28th and the 29th of June 2011. Uh, the poem, if I recall co correctly, is about an artist who was in the shop and to me he seemed quite suicidal, he seemed as if he lost his zest for life, he wasn't creating as well as he perhaps did back in his heyday, the man was in the 60s or something like that, and it seemed like he just wanted to give up, so this is a poem, it's called Bitter Pill to Swallow. There's an artist who has lost his feel for colours and their tones, his life is now so different than the one he's always known, he's lost the part of him that used to capture and create, his life's grown so dull and now he's living in the shade. He feels he's been afflicted by a fate much worse than death. It plays upon his mind each day with every single breath. Cause everything's so dark and grey where once it was so bright. So he's got a little plan to cure his aches and pains tonight. A pill is in his hand and there's a bottle by his side. And so many different colours all resemble black and white. So like so many others of his like and of his kind, he feels the time has come for him to leave this world behind. A pill is in his hand and there's a bottle by his side. And so many different colours all resemble black and white. So like so many others of his like and of his kind, he feels the time has come for him to leave this world behind. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. A new road opened a few nights ago in Glasgow. It was a beautiful summer's evening. A new road with a clean bill of health. There has been no traffic related accidents or troubles on it. Well, not yet anyway. Spectators were looking down on a new stretch of road from the flyover above. Some with big smiles on their faces. Not a single freshly painted line 
was out of place or faded? Well, not yet, anyway. The new stretch of road apparently opened at 7 in the evening and the first cars to drive on the new stretch of road were beeping their horns in celebration as the crowd looked on. No one's broke down on the side of that new stretch of road in the dead of night. No mothers or fathers have lost their sons or daughters from speeding or stupidity on that new stretch of road. Well, not yet, anyway. I passed the crowds on the flyover as I rushed to my destination. There was work to be done and bills to be paid. It was a beautiful summer's evening. The sun was shining in the sky and the birds, they did sing. The Olympics began, oh it started last night, the sky was awash with colours and lights, the five rings were glowing up in the air, London was ready, it was prepared. People had come from all over the land and from countries abroad full of sunshine and sand. The world that was waiting, each nation was there, London was ready, it was prepared. I saw many faces like Bond and the Queen and a joker playing music called Mr Bean, songs by some monkeys and a beat overheard, London was ready. It was prepared. The athletes walked out proud as could be, waving their flags for the whole world to see. Boris looked on with his long floppy hair. London was ready. It was prepared. Volunteers helped and directed the crowds as drummers played drums to a rhythm so loud. People felt proud, but many were scared. Still, London was ready. It was prepared. I'm glad things went smoothly right from the start. Beckham was there playing his part. Songs by the Stones and the Rascal were heard. Oh, London was ready, it was prepared.